Welcome viewers to the sixth episode in a series of episodes that are focused on the 2023 GCE Science Paper Team. So if you haven't seen the other episodes, please go on our YouTube channel and check for this episode. There is a playlist dedicated to detailed revision of this paper. Question B2. Use the knowledge of the kinetic theory of matter to answer the questions that follow. Question A. Explain why an inflated balloon which is placed in a refrigerator slowly starts to shrink and reduce in volume. That's what we need to explain. So why does it start to shrink and reduce in volume? But in our explanation we need to use kinetic theory of matter. So what does the kinetic theory of matter states? So it states that Particles of matter are always in motion and the speed of these particles depends on the temperature. So their temperature will determine the speed. So if the temperature is high, the speed will be high. If the temperature is low, the speed will be low. So it's that principle that we need to apply. So based on that, you can tell that when the balloon is placed in the fridge, the temperature drops hence the speed reduces. So because the speed reduces, what will happen is this will cause the air molecules inside the balloon to move slower and collide less less often and, and with less force which decreases the pressure inside the balloon so as a result the balloon shrinks so that's the reason behind so now we can put it in lighting this is because the temperature reduces once the balloon is placed in inside the refrigerator. So the key is because the temperature reduces. Now, because the temperature reduces, this causes air molecules to move slower and collide less often and with less force hence it shrinks so if you're using a pen that should be able to fit because i'm using slightly bigger font question b with reference to any changes what type of process takes place in e n so you just need to identify the type of process that takes place in e n so in air we are putting the balloon inside the refrigerator then it's a shrinking with time so we need to identify the process so the process taking place in air is an exothermic process so this is exothermic process taking Let's remember there is the loss of it. So in an exothermic process, energy is released to the surroundings, usually in form of heat. So when the balloon is placed in the refrigerator, heat energy from the hair molecules inside the balloon is transferred to the colder hair in the refrigerator. This causes the air molecules inside the balloon to lose kinetic energy and slow down which results in a decrease in the volume as indicated by the fact that the balloon starts shrinking and reduces in volume. Hence, this process is known as an exothermic process. Question C. Explain why wet clothes dry faster on a warmer day than on a colder day. So, why is it that clothes will dry fast on a warmer day than on a colder day? 
So wet clothes dry faster on a warmer day than a colder day because of evaporation. So evaporation is the main reason behind. So evaporation is the process where liquid water turns into water vapor. So on a warmer day, water molecules in wet clothes gain more kinetic energy from the surrounding heat. This allows them to overcome attractive forces holding them in the liquid and escape as gas, which is the water vapor. As a result, wet clothes dry faster. So, how do we put it now? In lighting what I've just explained to you. Or you can start with this is because of evaporation. So on a home day, water molecules in wet clothes gain more kinetic energy from the surrounding it ends the clothes would dry faster. Okay, surrounding heat than on a colder day. Once you do that, you are good to go and you get these two marks. So, thank you for joining me in this episode. Please join me in the next episode as we look at question B3 in detail.